All right, hello everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. Please invite your friends. Uh, this is just for a snack. We are going to answer Abdul. You know, the Muslims, because they are so desperate trying to find their God in our book, they could not find him in their book. So maybe we can find them in their book. The funny they say that our book is corrupt, yet still they can find God in our book. Mm. Now, a Muslim Abdul, he posted uh, in the text. And by the way, I challenge him to dare to call me. Uh, but I don't think even he knows what he's talking about. They are just copy-paste. Claiming that the Bible speak about Mecca. And not only that, even the Kaaba is the house of the God of the Christians and the Jews. <laughs> That's amazing. You know, Sometimes people they ask me why you don't give the Muslim a chance to survive at least when he debate with you Why you shoot in the head right away? I like to take the short way Why you want to waste my time? First of all when a Muslim he come to me and he tried to say to me that your God speak about my God Which is the same God and the temple of the Jews is the same temple of the Muslims Which is in Mecca shouldn't first we have the same God you see if we go to the Muslims and we can ask any Muslim do your God have a spirit or he is a spirit the Muslim answer is very clear no Allah is not a spirit and he has no spirit this is their Muslim website Islam uh, info they are asking a scholar do Allah has a spirit and the answer no I am debating a Christian he said to me that God has a spirit. My question, does Allah have a spirit? Answer, absolutely not. The spirit is not one of the attributes of Allah. So from the beginning, my friend, the God of the Christian, the God of the Jews, he have a spirit and he is a spirit and your God is not a spirit. So how we can have the same God and how you can say to me that my book is speaking about your God? I mean, how silly, how stupid that is. So trying to fabricate verses in the Bible, trying to make it and apply it at your God doesn't work because even the nature of the God of the Jews is not the same as the nature of the God of the Muslims. If you go in the book of Genesis from chapter number one, you will see that God has a spirit. Your God does not. That's it. The first line in the Bible. So it's very silly, but I don't blame a Muslim Abdul for he is desperate. He's trying to find his God in our book. He cannot find him in his book. His God has no miracles. His God does not exist. His God is a shish kebab. So let us fabricate verses or let us say fa fabri fabricate interpretation and make it fit with our book. So from the beginning, as you see, when a Muslim, he says to you that the God of the Jews is the same as the God of the Christian. The answer is very simple. No, he cannot be. The God of the Jews, he is a spirit. The God of the Muslims, he has no spirit and he is not a spirit. So right away from the beginning, bingo, we are done. Do you see how easy, how fast? Now, if we go to his post here, this Abdul, his name is Malak. And I don't think even he's, he knows what he's talking about. He is just posting and copy and paste. And he is uh, 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 posting from the book of Psalm uh, uh, 84, verse number 4. What about we post from verse number 1, Abdul? But no problem. Uh, blessed are those who do well. I'm just uh, posting for you. Here's, a here's, a, here's his post, not, not my post. This is his post. Uh, blessed 
are those who dwell in the house of Salah, the house Salah. Blessed the man who is power into thee. In his heart are the ways of them who passes through the valley of Bekka. You see, he he's making it for you in black. Made it as well. And general and, and the general rain also in, in, in the complex. <laughs> they go from strength to strength. Each one in Zion has appeared before God. Now he says, What Bekka mean? Of course, the valley has qualities determined by the text and focused here the qualification as well uh, uh, the qualities the house of the lord is his name is bakka no that's not that's not true that's false the house of the lord his name is not bakka you 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 liar they pass is through the value of bakka you see how they lie it says in the front, this is your post, not my post. And this is the translation you choose. They pass us through the value of Bekka. But by the way, Bekka is not Bekka. This is because in, in, in Latin, you don't have equal letters to the Hebrew or the, to the Arabic. So this is the wadi of Bukha, Bukha, which means crying. The wadi, the valley of weeping. Not Bekka. You see, you are silly. And they pass in that valley, not the house of God. His name is Becca, you liar. So do you see how they lie right away from the beginning? I mean, this is his post. Where in here it says the house of Becca is the name of the God house. This is the valley. They passes there. Here, Salah. Huh? Which means forever. This is not the name of a place. This is forever. Now, the house of the Lord is it? His name is Bekka. That's false. We prove it easy. The valley and valley and not a mountain or a plateau. This is a valley where they pass. The mountain is there. You will see it says here, you idiot. I mean, they are really, really, really stupid. It says each one of them in Zion. Has appeared before God. This is the Mount of Zion, you idiot. This is a mountain. This is in Jerusalem. <laughs> uh, glorifying God in the valley of a dry. Where it says the valley of a dry. What valley of a dry? <laughs> Actually, it says to you that the valley will be full of water before the rain in the early rain of the winter. <laughs> Let us continue. But there is a fountain. The fountain happened after the rain, you donkey. This is not a spring of water which running. Don't you see? It says an early water. Let me show you. Let us go to the to the Bible. It's instead of, of showing this idiot uh, post. And by the way, I, I choose ESV because this is a translation. The that he told them, uh, uh, Zach and Ike, he told them this is the best translation. So I'm showing them the translation they like. You see here it says, That there is early rain will make springs of waters. It's not a spring, it springs, and that because of early rain. So this is not an, a continual running springs and not one spring, it's many of them, but because of the early rain, we will have many of those springs. This is not a spring of water running 24 hours, seven days a week, the whole year. And it is not a well of water, too. Zamzam is not even a, a spring of water, really. It is a well. However, this is just temporarily during the early rain. And then here it says, "Before God in Zion." If you go, if you you know, I, and actually I pause for him. Tons of verses. The holy mount in Jerusalem. Isaiah chapter 27 verse 13 Isaiah 56 7 my house is the house called the house of a prayer for all nation but where this house is this is where they offer their sacrifice where is that do you Muslims offer sacrifice let's see is that 
here uh, let us read uh, Isaiah 6620 hmm? and the Lord and the, uh, sorry and they will bring all their brothers from the from the nations as gift to the Lord and and horses and it's a read and then he says here my holy mountain to where to my holy mountains jerusalem says the lord just as jerusalem bring of a spring to the rest of the verse so where is the mountain this is the mountain in jerusalem where is the house is in the house in jerusalem what temple we are talking about this is the temple of david uh and here it says the same zion you know you see zion this is Zion. this is the mount of zion in judah the people of judah uh isaiah 27 13 the holy mount of jerusalem do you see it this is zion or in our you know it's a jabal so uh, you know and then uh between the new altar and the house of the Lord, where is the house of the Lord? Where is that in Jerusalem? And look how they how, what they built there. They describe even for you how it's built. Arun and his sons and etc. etc. It says in the offspring, and then they are talking about what they built. Uh, here is description of the building of the temple. And they began to build an altar for God of Israel to sacrifice burnt of spring on it as it's written in the law of Moses and the, uh, and the, and the man of God. They, they start building where? This is in Jerusalem. Uh, so I said to him, fake Allah need fake claims to look real. And look what he posted uh, back just to show you. Uh, where is his post? Because I think he made a new post. Hey, here we go. But the hour comes, and now when he's he's posting for us from John 4 19 24. Uh, the true worshippers worship the Father in his spirit, and the truth for the Father has dem demanded such a worship god is spirit you see how silly i just showed you that your god is not a spirit and you are then you are quoting me john which is proven islam to be false because if god is spirit is what we are talking about here and god has no spirit which we are talking about here in your islamic religion so how you quote for me john to prove yourself you idiot read carefully who are the true worshippers who worship and none kiss of the Samaritans and the Hebrew? Your, your prophet do not even know where the Samaritan are exist. Your prophet, he says that the Samaritan is the one who mislead Musa. <laughs> your, your prophet is an idiot to the point. Let me show you. <laughs> uh, <laughs> each time I remember this, I die laughing, honestly. The Samuri, he mislead the, the people of Musa's? And, he, and and the Sam, the Samaritan they were exist in the time of Moses. <laughs> I mean, what kind of God your God is? You you know you are quoting me for me from from the book of John, speaking about the one who kissed the Samar Samaritan, and you, and your your prophet he could not even quote where they are existed. They are exist in the time of Moses, you idiot. And the Samar the, the, the Samaritan, they are the one who mislead Musa's people and they, they are talking to Musa's.
and the same story appear in many places. Aaron and Musa, they are speaking to the Samar. Let me change the translation for you so you might understand better. This is the big tal. Uh, why all of them they are typing the word as summary they are not translating I don't know why they are they are just saying it as it is in Arabic they should translate let us see aha and Moses said Hey, Samartian, what was the business? Musa is talking to the Samartian? <laughs> oh boy. Um, you know, I really, 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 really enjoy your the wisdom of your God who do not know when the Samartian will exist. I mean, how silly the God of the Quran to the point he did not know who is a Samaritan. Do you even Muslims know who the Samaritan? How Samaritan is talking to Musa? So when you quote for me this, you open a door to expose your your your, your stupid Quran. Look who says, Who are the true worshippers? Who are worship and none kiss the Samaritan and the Hebrews? They are new nation that born. After a time, as nation has not called holiness except only nation of Islam. If, 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 why? And then he quote for us. The Lord shall convert Zion, Zion, not, 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 not Muhammad, and convert its ruin. It's turned its wilderness into Eden. And is, is Mecca like Eden now? And its wilderness into a wonderful garden. And shall filled with joy. Yeah, you know the the uh, Islamic country is full of joys. I mean, look how silly they are. Indeed, and he is quoting like verse after verse. Just uh, uh, and now look what I want to show you. The end. What he says. The comment. After Mecca was distorted, uh, deserted, uh, compared to this to synagogue of the Jews. Become the numbers of the sons of Mecca. The Jews become the son of Mecca. Let me get you busted. There's no Jewish in Mecca, you donkey. Somebody says to me, Why you keep saying calling them donkeys? He said, Jesus, he ride a donkey. I mean, is the donkey if Jesus ride a donkey? The donkey is still a donkey, my friend. Did not can become an angel. Don't be silly. This is the question Where was the Jews living in the time of the Prophet Muhammad? The answer, there are three groups and all of them around the city of al Medina, as and inside the city of al Medina, There is no Jewish in Mecca, according to you. So how you say to me that the Jewish became the sons of Mecca when Mecca was only for the tribe of Quraysh, you liar? And the Jews, they used to, even your prophet, during his beginning of his uh, prophethood, he, he was praying to Jerusalem. He was praying to Jerusalem. He wasn't praying to Mecca. After Umar al Khattab, and we spoke about it in the previous uh, uh, video, he suggests to Muhammad, he said to him, uh, he said, my Lord agree with me in three things. After that, Muhammad, he switched his prayer from Jerusalem to Mecca because in the beginning he was trying to con to convince the Christian and the Jews that he worshiped the same God of uh, of Abraham when they did not believe he became back to his pagan roots which is the Kaaba and the black stone let us go back and love more so as you see if you speak Arabic and I guess I think maybe you you do uh, otherwise you can just uh, here we go this is the question and this is the date the Jews in in the Arabian Peninsula in the time of the Prophet this is the topic the date of publishing 2016 111 all right and this is the answer number 238 uh, 238 859 
and the answer in front of you it says كان يهود المدينة ثلاثة طوائف there is only three groups بني قيقاع بني النضير وبني قريضة that's it and all of them they are either in the Medina or around the Medina that's it according to your Islamic books and I don't believe anything in your Islamic books anyway but I'm just showing you now we continue Uh, more than the numbers of the sons of temple and then there is a strong signal to migrant with naval yes Mecca compass is expanded from time to time yes the age of Arabian Peninsula and the Arab are more uh, uh, more nation and birth rate have high by the way the Arab the Arab uh, the Arab as uh, as number they are very small in number you see the Arab is not Egypt is not Algeria is not Morocco is not Tunisia it's not Libya it's not Turkey is not Syria is not Iraq it is only in the Arabian Peninsula and until now the number of Saudi, the total population of Saudi Arabia and Emirat and Bahrain and Qatar all together is not even 30 million I don't think even they are close to that number, which means the Jews are more than them. Now, the rest are not Arab. Egypt is Africa, Libya is Africa, Tunisia is Africa, Morocco is Africa. They, those are not Arab. Syria is, is for the Syrian. They used to speak Aramaic. This is why they are white. Lebanon for the Lebanese, they are Aramaic. Even those who they are in Gaza and uh, what they call it Palestine today, those are not even Arab. So look at this desperately trying to answer but not only he failed with the stupidity he he destroyed himself with his answers he said here as an example and the funny they they, they post the post for us about uh, Zion Golo in Zion and round about destroy the tower so so first of all who is the one who is making this song which is trying to talk about is that is that a guy who is a jew or he is a muslim or he's an arab is it says does it say there that this is the mount of zion does it say that this is for the god of zion does it say that god is spirit and your god is not a spirit so I find it very, very nice when a Muslim try to find his God in our book. And look what he says to me. Jesus said, but the hour comes and now when the true worshipers worship the Father in his spirit and truth. Do you see how silly the Abdul is? He just said to me, Jesus said, that the true worshipers worship the Father in his spirit. Islam do not believe in the Father and do not believe in the Spirit. And the truth, who is the truth? Jesus said, I am the truth. For the Father has demanded such worshipers. God is a spirit. Do you see how you shot yourself in, not in the foot, I want to say in the ass. God is a spirit. What is God in Islam is not a spirit. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> you know, uh, In the Middle East, sometime you will see somebody. He claimed to be uh, your relative, but he's not. This is very common in the Middle East. Why? Somebody is not coming from because you know it's the the, the system there is like if you don't have a powerful family, uh, you might need protection. You might need uh, you might not get that good job. So what do you do? You claim like there is somebody he is very powerful and his family are very powerful. So you claim that he is your cousin. You know what I mean? 
you say like he is blah 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 blah. I mean, you fabricate a story just to make yourself like to to level yourself up. Muslims, I find them always because they find themselves down. They have a very bad prophet. His reputation is horrible. His book is a stupid. He have no prophecy, which has come to be true. All of them they became false, and we showed you one just in the previous video where he said that a hundred year will will not pass before the judgment day come. The sun set in murky water. Uh, the baby uh, is made from a sperm coming from the backbone, and the women have a sperm coming from the ribs. Uh, his God do not remember which one he created first, the stars or the trees. So we can give an end endless, uh, uh, you know, uh, answers. But why you don't speak about the God of the Jews, which is in the Bible, and your God? And we will find from the beginning that your God is not the same as God. And how how dare you? How silly you are! To quote for me a verse confirming that God is a spirit. Are you answering me now? Are you answering me when you say God is a spirit? Are you answering me when you mention the Samaritans? When your God Allah do not know when the Samaritan was exist, he think they are talking to, to Moses? Uh, <laughs> I I wanted just to have some uh, you know fun with you guys and just to share with, with this you that okay, for those who do not know how to answer the Abdul because they try to fool you and they try to fabricate things. Now, if we go in the Quran, the Quran mentioned the word Bakka, <clears throat> but what Bakka is? Let us expose this. <clears throat> You will notice that Bakka, Bakka, and by the way, uh, it, there's no A at the end, there's T. So there's a letter, different, a different letter. The, the one in the Bible is not Bakka, it is Bakka, the, the valley, you know, in Arabic we say Bakka, Bakka, which means he cry. All right? Like when somebody he cry, so the valley of a crying. Uh, Actually, we can show it from the Quran. Here first, the first house established for the people was that at Bakka. This is the first house, not the second house, not the third house. This is the first house. What is Bakka this, this is about? Simply, uh, in the Yemeni language, the letter Qa, Turned to be ba, and the letter uh, uh, ba uh, turn. I mean, the vice versa. So you will find that the Quran mentioned uh, uh, Mecca twice, or let's say once as Mecca and then once as Mecca. <clears throat> you see. So why here is coming as Mecca and there is coming as Becca? It's the same word. The difference is just the pronunciation. Yemeni people, they switch the word M to uh, 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 Ba. And sometimes the letter Qa to Ba. So Mecca is the same as Becca. Mecca is coming from the word Makkah. If we search right now in Google, for the temple of Makkah. Let us see the answer. Temple of Al Makkah. I'm trying to find it. Hold on. Here we go. This is where the name of the city of Mecca is coming from, or Bakka. It is a temple built by the Sabian, which worshipping the moon. So here you will see 
uh, the, the, it have a, like main names, but it's very clear the Temple of Al Makkah. Let us click here. This is in Yemen. This is the Temple of Mecca or Al Makkah. Makkah. You know, you see the letter Ka, -ka here is switched into Ka, K. So instead of Mecca, it is Makkah. Ka, Ka. But it's the same. So the Temple of Al Makkah is a temple of the moon, the moon god. Let us see. <clears throat> uh, Uh, here we go <clears throat> oh this guy here the site is gone okay let's go temple of al maqqa or we can find to see this one <clears throat> uh At the temple of Al Mecca, you see the letter here, the letter K switched to Q. Now this is not really Q, but because in your language you don't have an equal letter, it is Mecca. Same as for the Arab and the Yemeni, the the Yemeni they switch the letter K into Q. Depend in the world. So the temple of Al Mecca is the temple of Mecca. But what happened when they built the Kaaba, they brought the stones. Uh, from the temple of Al Makkah, let us show you some pictures. You will see in this drawing they are showing you here in this side let us uh, draw this here is the Yemeni corner here is the black stone and this is what Muhammad he says the one who touched those two corners Allah forget forgive his sin you remember now what why this Yemeni why this corner called Yemeni corner Yemen Yemen because simply they have stones in this corner which is taken from the temple of Al Makkah and this is the pictures Those are stones brought from the temple of Al Makkah in Yemen, and they place it there. So simply, what what uh, what they do? People they used to go to visit the temple of Al Makkah, and now the Arab of uh, of uh, Quraysh, they said, okay, we will build a Kaaba, small Kaaba, not like the big huge temple of uh, Yemen, and you don't have to go all the way there, and we bring holy stones from the temple of al Makkah, and obviously the whole city of Mecca became became become because of this is a, you know they claim that this is a, like an counterfeit of the huge temple of al Makkah, which is in Yemen so they brought those stones and now they are holy stones for the Muslims and if you notice with me their color is different from the colors of the rest of the uh, Kaaba their stone the stones are different they are not the same and they are like a small funny stones they put them together and in that corner Muhammad in the hadith he says whoever touched those two rock corners Allah forgive his sin all right read carefully Oh Abu Abdul Rahman, why do I only see you touching those two corners? He said, I heard Messenger of Allah saying, touching them erases the sins. So the Arab, since the beginning of the Kaaba, they practice 
kissing and touching those stones the black stone which is the vagina of the of of, of the god of fertility Baal and the Yemeni corner because those are stones brought from Al Makkah temple which we showed you its pictures here This is Al Makkah temple, a huge one. We cannot compare it to the, the one in the Kaaba. So they took stones from here and they place it in the Kaaba. And why you need to go all the way to Yemen just to do uh, to 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 have a holy forgiveness? Just come here. You know we brought the stones for you, and we have it here. Uh, I think it have another name in English the same temple but as you see this is the temple of Mecca here Al Mecca hmm? which is in Yemen and this is where the name is coming from uh, I'm trying to find more before I found like really a nice article about the temple of Al Makkah. Uh, maybe I need to do a little bit change in the way it's written in English. Let's see. No. Um. Okay, well, this is how they are calling the name Al Makkah. Let us search for this. Maybe we can get something. Anyway, you can you can uh, you can search for it, and you will find that this is the, the in the beginning for some time they thought this is was uh, the uh, the sun temple, but uh, all the study at the end lead that this is was very wrong because they found an ancient language there proving that this is uh, was always the temple of the moon god um, you see it have another name awam in the awam let me see here hold on Yeah, this is an article here about it. There's many articles you can search. I mean, just to make your own study. You know, this is a Sabian. Uh, uh, Sabian. You see, the Sabian, they, their religion is spread all the way to Egypt, all the way to Yemen. And uh, they, they, uh, they build the huge temples in both countries. Um, Al Makkah Temple. You see, this name was very famous and used by many, and it was 
Now, for sure, those who uh, they are historian, they can give uh, more reference and more study about about what is this is exactly. But all of them they agree it was the Moon God Temple. Um, Let us see. Like here, he's just giving you a summary. The Temple of Awam, Mahram Balkis, the Temple of Al Makkah, etc. Blah blah blah. Uh, Al Makkah is considered uh, a moon god, or a moon god temple. All right. You see it? So this is where the origin name of uh, of Mecca and Bakka uh, and the Muslims desperately trying to find a place for their God in our in our book. Your God is not a spirit. Your God is silly. Your God is a stupid. Your God do not know how the baby created. Your God, he says stupid things. Your God teach against the teaching of the God of the Christian and the Jews. Uh, I mean, ethically, the. God by nature in Islam is not the same as God of the Christians and the God of the Jews. Our God is a spirit, your God is not. So we can that's it from the beginning. First, like done, we are done. And always I advise Muslims when before they pose for us, read what you post for me. I mean, you are being silly and being desperately stupid. How you pose to a Christian saying to him that Jesus said. That the true worshippers, the true worshippers are those who worship God is a spirit. That's mean you are not a true worshipper. You just you just get yourself busted. The true worshippers, the one who worship the Father in his spirit and truth. Do you Muslim believe in the Father? Do you believe in the Spirit? That God is a spirit? Do you believe in the Son? <laughs> we who are the true worshippers? Yeah, who are they? The one who worship the God, the Spirit. <laughs> you know, they said to me, "Why you are so healthy?" I say, Muslims, they make me so laugh so good. I mean, later I'm going to go to sleep. I love so good today. I mean, this is really good. God is good. <laughs> and by the way, they are copy paste people. They don't even read what they are copying. I assure you, this guy is just copying an article of somebody. Somebody is a fool. And he copy and he paste. It doesn't matter what he paste. Just paste, you know, just throw at the Christian things. Uh, let us go to other comments. We, we are done with this guy. <coughs> uh, let us see more comments. Uh, yeah, there's a there's a guy. He you know saying a Christian prince, Christian prince. Be a man and show us your face, my friend. I am the same as Allah. Allah never spoke except from behind the veil. Your God, Allah, is not better than me. You don't believe me? Here we go. What about you ask your God to show himself? Why you want to see my face? Huh? Allah never spoke to anyone except from behind the veil. Am I saying that? No, this is your Quran. Allah never speak to anyone by revelation or a form. From behind the veil, do you see it? So why it's okay for Allah not to show His face and to speak from behind the veil? I'm not using a veil. I, the nature of what I am using is internet. Why you want to see my face? People, they want to see my my knowledge and my words. We are not in a dating website, my friend. Hmm? Why you want to see my face? I am not showing my face and Muslims keep texting me. What if I show my face? No, what? I will marry four wives now? 
you show your face here we go Zach and Nayak, he show his face and he says that the word hur is male and female brother and sister the sister they argue with him why in Islam there is God he's going to give the men hur first of all the word hur is the generic name is it possible to be male and female hur is male and female you idiot donkey here we go he show you his face look like you're a scholar he never saw in the Quran that it says that those who they will lose the the, the 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 skin inside their vagina and they will bleed men they will lose that he don't know Arabic so he do not know what he's talking about he do not even know how to read English chapter 55 verse number 56 chapter 55 verse number 74 both of them it says that those Qasiratun female I mean, how donkey you are to say they are not they are can be male and female. It says qasiratun. This is a ta ta ta'neeth. And then yat muthahunna. This is the noon. In Arabic, we have letters we add at the end to make it female. Yat muthahunna. This is called noon and nuswa, the, the noon of females. And what yat muthahunna mean? They will bleed, they will break the hemen inside their vagina. And they will bleed. So what this guy donkey saying that they are going to uh, this? This is male and female. Here we go. He show you his face. Do you see what it says? Yet your 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 halal beard uh, 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 scholar, he says to you that this is those are male and female. But look what it says. Their husbands. How it says they're husbands and they are fe and they are, they are males. <laughs> How it says that they will lose the the skin inside their vagina has opened their uh, hemens with sexual intercourse. Zach and Nayak, he show his face. Now I am sure you wish that he never did. Hmm? Show me your face. You know, always they, they do not know what how to answer me. So what we what what we can use against this guy? I mean, what we can say? Be a man. Show your face. Uh, no, I don't want to show my face, and I don't like how my face looks like. <laughs> show me your answer, you idiot. Who? Why you want to see my face? And then now, each time we speak to a Muslim, he have no answer. And the Muslims are worried only about showing my face. I show them that Allah, he say, the sun set in the murky water. Show us your face. We show us. We show them that Muhammad, he claimed the sun, the, the sun have a set in place. Show us your face. We show them that Allah, he, he says, women have a breast testicles. Show us your face. <laughs> very cute, Abdul, very cute. Show us your face. Yeah. Uh, we say to them, show us your answer. They say to me, show us your face. They're very funny people. I and mean, I, I feel sorry for them. I really feel sorry for them. Right? They have no idea because they have no answer. Uh, let, let me see. Hold on. Just to show you the comment of Muslims, sometimes they are really hilarious. I mean, I really, I, I sometimes I read the comment of the Muslims just for fun. I don't have time to answer all of them, but uh, you know, but it's really funny. When they cannot answer you, they say things you will not believe it. And actually, always they can't answer you. Let us see uh, some example. Uh, look at this one Jesus is not God Jesus is not the son of God liar deceitful deceiver enemy of Islam 
the truth is Christian nation have nothing Christian nation has no God Christian nation has no prophet <laughs> Christian nation have only one hellfire forever. Do you know why? Because false belief, brother, faith, faith of Trinity, and not accepting the truth of a true one creator. Hold on, hold on, hold on. There is only true one creator. So why Allah, he say in the Quran, he is the best of the creators if he is the only creator. <laughs> And why the Quran says that Jesus created from the mother bird if Allah is the only creator? <laughs> Don't forget, bear in mind, there is two different Jesus, different personality of Jesus. The origin the prophet, Jesus, son of Mary, only Muslims have. Only us, brother, we have it. Abdul, we cannot even find the name Jesus in your Quran. There is a guy, his name is Isa, and he and his uncle, his name is Aaron. <laughs> which mean which means Isa is the nephew of Moses. <laughs> I mean, Muhammad was a fool to the point he cannot even quote name correctly. Who is Isa? And he think that Isa is the nephew of Moses and Aaron. Why? Because in the Old Testament, it says that Aaron and Moses, they have a sister. Her name is Maryam. So the fool Muhammad, he thought Maryam is the same Maryam, the mother of Jesus. Unbelievable. Muslim prophet Jesus, son of Mary, is born without father miraculous birth. Okay, Abdul, why? Why Jesus have a miraculous birth? Why Muhammad don't have that one? <laughs> You know, a question for the Muslims, a billion dollar question. Why everybody is born have a father except Jesus? Hello? He is still alive, 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 alive. Okay, hold on, hold on. Why Jesus is still alive, 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 and Muhammad is dead, dead, dead? You see, brother, you are trying to convince us that Jesus is not God, but he is still alive, alive, alive. And he have to repeat it three times, Trinity again. I mean, why you are repeating alive, alive three times? Can't you say it once only, brother? And why Jesus is still alive, alive, alive? No answer. And why Muhammad is not alive, alive, alive? No answer. Oh boy. Anyway, this is why I'm telling you, like, look, this is always a comment. This is a book. This is literally a book, you know? Let us see. Uh anyway tons of uh, verses and tons tons of comments and try to hold yourself not to love just try you know long time ago about showing us your face i was in pal talk program and once i saw a big chat room the chat room is really huge like you see the number from outside before you enter the chat room and I became curious why this room is so big. I mean, like hundreds of people. I mean, the, no, the room is growing so fast. So I entered the chat room and I saw in the text, the, it's an Arabic text, an Arabic, Arabic room. You can use your camera, you can speak in the mic. So there is a girl speaking in the microphone and she have her camera open, which means everybody in the chat room can see her camera. And guess what she was showing? Her foot. And the Muslim Abdul, they were saying, can you move it to the right? Allahu Akbar, move it a little bit, a little bit to the right. No, 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 just stop there, stop there, right, perfect, perfect there. She is showing her foot. She is not showing <laughs> the, the horny. 300, 400, I forgot how many people. They are, the room is going crazy because there is a Muslim, beautiful Muslim woman showing her foot, brother. So I'm thinking to get a camera and put it in my foot, brother. 
and let us see what will happen to the Muslims. Oh boy. And I was saying, like, what this woman she is showing? I mean, why they are going crazy? I mean, it's a foot. And even her toes is ugly. I mean, her toes scared the hell of me. It's like she did not get her fingers, uh, the, her, her nails for, for a long time. And and the, she have nails like the, the nails of a camel. I, I don't know even if she's a man. I mean, it, she might be a man. You, how you know? Huh? Show us your face. Yeah, even even Allah Himself is going to show His shin. Have you ever heard of a God will do striptease? Why Allah want to show His shin? Any Muslim? Look at the translation. They try to hide the translation. Why Allah has a shin, Muslims, and why Allah will show His shin? The day the shin shall be laid bare. I cannot wait to see the shin of Allah. Shinnu shinnu. Shinnu shin. God is going to show his shin? And what we would do then? Party, party? Hey, everybody, hey, brother. Tomorrow we are going to see the shin of Allah, brother. Are you kidding me? No, a brother, it's true. A brother, do you think we can handle the beauty of his shin, a brother? Absolutely not, a brother. We might die, brother. Allah will show his shin. Hmm? You see, the Muslims they refuse Jesus to be God because he's a man. They accept Allah have five fingers foot two hands in the right side and he is a, he has a shin i know peter i know actually if you remember i don't know if you uh, watched my debate with dr uh, nabil baikli and the imam of uh, tennessee imam malik sar he said okay christian prince you have a shin do you think the shin of allah is like your shin <laughs> I mean look here the guy he is an imam and the other guy he is the head of the Islamic Center he's a doctor and he is answering me now refuting me he says Christian Prince okay Allah has a shin do you think the shin of Allah is like your shin I mean like uh, me like wow this is really an answer I mean what I can say now that's it he refuted me Allah shin is not like my shin <laughs> who care how God he has a shin and why what is that? My throat is hurting me already. I think I better stop otherwise I don't know if I can still open uh, I mean do another live broadcast tomorrow I suppose to do but today we have two but my throat is getting dry and it's hurting uh, anyway guys don't forget to download the video share it with your friends. And I want to say thank you for the Muslims for helping us to expose uh, the falsehood of Islam, especially when they say to us that Jesus says the true worshippers is those who worship God as a spirit. Those are the true worshippers, not you Muslims. And yes, the Lord, he said the truth. And for that we say, I mean. So I want to say thank you all for being here. And I feel sorry for Muslims. They try to find their God in our book because they could not find him in their book. You better uh, rethink about worshipping a God of a black stone. Rethink about God, he thinks the earth is a flat. Rethink about God, he says the most stupid things ever. God is all wise, not all fool. God is almighty, not all limited as your God who says, I can. how I can have a son if you don't have a girlfriend? That is not God. The God of Jesus, you Muslim, you say that Jesus have God. And you say that the God of Jesus, he made Jesus. How he made him? He made him born from a woman. Her name is Mary, but without having a husband. So how this is, can be the same God? If the God of Islam is the same God as Jesus, you claim. And Jesus is not God himself. 
so how the same God says once he says how I can have a son without having a girlfriend in the from verse he says that Mary she was a virgin and she have no father so how he say how I can have a son if I have no girlfriend yet Mary she have no boyfriend she, she, she have a she have a son. so obviously he cannot be the same person because the God of Mary he can have a son without having a girlfriend the God of Muhammad he cannot have a son without having a girlfriend and that is a clear evidence that Allah have nothing to do with the God of the Christians how he can have a son if he don't have a girlfriend do you see it who is the one saying that your God and the second God he questioned how he can that's mean he cannot you see why we call God Almighty because the word can is always attached to his name the second you say how can he that's mean he is limited he is not Almighty and who is the one who says how can he Allah it's not me it's not a question from me he is saying to me explain his nature how I can how can I have a son and by the way here always Muhammad because he is the author of the Quran in many places he forget always to switch so how Allah speaking then he says to him to him who are into Allah this is silly Allah is talking saying to him to him and then he says how can he shouldn't he say how can I have a son when he again what is I has no cursor he created all things he who you are the one is talking why you are saying he and he and he and he that is Allah your Lord so who is talking <laughs> It cannot be Allah. This is a guy, you know, uh, 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 a Muslim saying, Christians pray to a Jew. No, Christians don't pray to a Jew. Jesus is the God of the Jews. Jesus says to the to the to the to the uh, to the Jews, he said to them, What do you say of the Messiah? He said, They said he is a son of David. He said to them, Well, if he's a son of David, then how David call him Jehovah? Call him my God, call him my Lord. You are a silly. Jesus is the God of the Jews. That's why he says, I came to fulfill, to complete. What for what? How you can complete? Who are you? For his God. He is the one who gave them the law, and he is the one who complete the law. It is you who pray to a Jew. And we can prove it easy. Here we go. We have a Muslim. The topic today is about Muslim trying to find their God to be the God of the Jews. So they killed their God who is Allah and they don't want him to be an Arabian God no more. They want him to be the God of Zion. You Muslims are desperate to make your God a Jew. You are the one who attach yourself to Israel. Attach yourself to Abraham, attach yourself to Isaac when you have nothing to do with them. It's not the opposite. I never saw a Jew saying, uh, you know, Muhammad is my cousin, or a Christian trying to find Jesus uh, to be uh, a relative to Muhammad. It is you who are desperately trying to find a place for your God in the book of our God. You're a prophet. He spent most of his life praying to Jerusalem. What he have to do? What he have in Jerusalem? Why Muhammad was praying to Jerusalem? So the Kaaba at that time was not holy for Muhammad. All his life he prayed to Jerusalem until there's no more Jews. He did, he get that's it. We killed them, and now we do not need them. The Jews will not believe in me anyway. So he switched to the Kaaba. And why? Because of a reason. The reason is very simple. He want to make money. He want to make money. 
you know after he he killed everybody and uh, you know uh, uh, like the Muslim they were worrying okay now we will go uh, we will be poor there's no Jews there's no Christians there's nobody now how we can make money you know and he said don't worry uh, we will make everybody visit the Kaaba right and that will be a very great source of income the Kaaba the whole purpose of the Kaaba is business anyway guys I hope we have a good time together don't forget to download the video and share it with your friends and until we see you again may the Lord bless you Christ is Lord and Islam is false and until we see you soon again I don't know if I would do it again uh, today I mean that would be a bit, a bit too much maybe I should make you miss me a little bit you know I mean come on don't you want to need to miss me I mean don't you get to listen to this guy like twice three times a day I mean this is too much so maybe I should let you miss me a little bit all right uh, <clears throat> I hope I hope I will be able to keep my promise to make you miss me. <laughs> all right, guys. May the Lord bless you all. Have a great weekend with, with your family and your beloved one. And pray for those who need your prayer. Pray for the sick. Pray for the poor. Pray for the sad. Pray for every human being he have need to the Lord. Not only for the Christian. Pray even for the Muslims. Don't be like them. Don't curse. Don't curse the Muslims. Don't curse the Hindus. Don't curse the Asiya. Don't, don't curse anyone. God is all about justice, my friend. And everyone will get what he deserves. So let what to God to God. Don't play God yourself. Let to God what is to God. People who start cursing, start, uh, uh, you know, playing gods, they don't deserve to be people of God. We trust his justice even the one who commit a crime God is all about justice no crime will go without payment criminals will pay haters will pay filthy will pay everyone he will pay and he will get what he deserve fly go to the garbage and the bees they go to the flower so choose which one you want to be don't be the same as Muhammad don't be a fly be the bees useful make honey fertilize the fruits of the trees it is a good creature in every way in every mean there is there is insect who they are insect but they are useful and there is insect they are very harmful when both of them they are insect so everything in this life based in good and bad for us as a human we are not insect we have a choice to be or not to be so either you choose to be a fly or you choose to be the bee and for me I don't want to be the same as Muhammad and I will never be thank you very much for being here may the Lord bless you Christ is Lord Islam is false and see you soon again bye-bye take care